Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar saying and we are talking about our X-ray tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be stepping into interacting with X-ray by creating a test. In fact, we'll be going in a reverse order so that we can understand it better. So generally the hierarchy goes with uh, creating uh, the test plan first and then creating the preconditions and going with the test cases, right? Which certainly makes sense. But if I start creating a test plan without adding anything under that, that doesn't look good as well, right? So we'll be creating in a reverse manner. We'll start creating with the test case first, then adding the preconditions to it, then pulling it into a test set, executing it, and then summarizing all that complete information into a test plan. So that's the flow. So make sure that you have an understanding of what we will be looking forward to and how we will be uh, conducting all that execution or interaction with different issue types of X-ray as a part of our tutorial series. So today we'll be talking about creating a test. Let's have a look how to create a test and design it. Part of this tutorial we will be understanding how to create a test in the x-ray and writing the test steps to detail it further as a part of our Jira instance. In order to continue ahead all you need to do is have some quick stories as a part of your project which can be created with help of your understanding and knowledge about Jira. You would find a quick button on the top uh, to go back to that tutorial where we have learned how to create a user story. But if you are new to Jira, I would strongly recommend that you go back to first my Jira tutorial series, learn about Jira fundamentals. Uh, and then come back to the series because here we won't be investing time on uh, learning the Jira concepts rather x-ray concepts so here if you see I've got few of the epics which currently have certain set of uh, stories associated with that we have got design stories we have got development stories and now it's time for us to create a test for the same now let's go ahead and work on the similar thing and relate these uh, tests for a reason back to the development test case and uh, development story and try working on the interaction of extra with that of the Jira. So not only creating a test you will also understand how test can be associated or related to the x-ray which makes pretty much a lot of sense in terms of traceability, reporting, requirement coverage etc. So you will be getting that all being populated as a part of the exercises which we parallelly do while creating a test. So all you need to do is click on the create button here and uh, certainly you will have to you know select the project which you will be working on and drop down here and now you have some issue types from the x-ray which you remember. So we'll be picking up the test as the issue type and then start creating the requirement of the writing test cases in order to meet the expectations. So currently the screen is exactly the same as that of the other issue types. So you need to check with your Jira administrator to customize it. I'll try if I can add one tutorial at the end of this series to customize these screens and show you how it can be more relevant. So a lot of you must be thinking at this point that generally this should show me the test case details and everything, right? No. This is just an ordinary issue type. Once you create this, that's where you get the freedom of writing your test steps the way you want to write it. So let us create a test story here that as a tester validate that user can navigate to sports segment page to view or read the story related to news only and click on create. If you want, you can add more things like you can include the components and you can include uh, the details if you know how it is related to the user story. This is where the traceability and requirement coverage will be built up. So I need to identify the relationship first. That is whether it is blocked, blocks or so on. Then I say now it's the tests. This test story will be testing a development story. Now, what is the development story which you have created for it? So, uh, I'm probably have to go back and look into this. Uh, I don't remember if uh, what story ID I created. So, let me just copy this and go back quickly to check, which is to test the interface. So, build a list of sports related news items. So, this goes to MTP6 is my ID. So, let me quickly create once again. So, here the issue type is test, and I would say as a tester validate this component is UI UX and uh, it says it tests 
MTP6. So if you don't see the suggestion here, all you have to do is start typing the ID and you will have the suggestion listed there. So this is the exact key. I just pull it up. Fixed version goes to wave one. And again, all these are pre-populated from my previous project. So don't uh, wonder about this. Go back to the Jira tutorials to get know more about it. Let's assign this to somebody if you already know who can be assigned to it or leave it as unassigned because during the sprint planning session, you will identify who will be working on this. You can also create a quick label to identify these items under a particular category and I can create that. If you've got Epic, you can select the Epic here. So this goes to basically the sports segment. So I'll tag it to the sports segment. There's no sprints created yet. And I would say I would like to create more tests. Then select this option and click on create. So the one test is now created. That was for UI UX. And now let's try creating uh, the other test, which is for the login. So say as a tester, uh, validate that a user can register on daily hunt news app so the project which i'm using here is uh, the daily hunt news app and the freedom of creating another issue checking this button enables me to retain the information from the previous page so i don't really have to do it except the relationship because that can be unique so i'll do this later because i pretty much don't remember if that which is the story which relates to that right so I've got two stories here MTP 7 and MTP 8 so I pretty much don't remember I can just say yep that's all what I can do right now I'll go back and do that later click on create and uh, I would like to create one more test so that we have some test handy so as a tester validate that a user can or I would say registered user because that's a criteria for making sure that only registered users can log in and uh, it tests again some other story so I don't have to waste my time filling up the all other details right so this time I'll just say uncheck this and click on create which creates three tests on my dashboard so it's just gonna get loaded so this is my backlog which shows me the three tests which I recently created now given that I have access to all the information I can also do the relationships so this is for the registered user and uh, there's a registration uh, user ID. So here is like a interface for a new user to sign up on the daily hunt app, right? So I'll, I'll link this to this one, which is MTP7. So how do you do the linkage? So I click on this button here. This is the link and click on this. And I would say the relationship should be okay link issue and I would say it tests okay testing the story number MTP7 okay so now the suggestion comes here click on link and same way for the uh, sorry this was for the login right so that's the wrong thing here let us remove this so this is how you remove a link and add it a new one here so the new user can register using a signing. This is MTP8. Okay, so it tests MTP8. So that's pretty simple. And uh, you just have to link it. Same way for the other one, which is to register, is MTP7. So let's quickly uh, link that also. And now you will see a transformation in your Jira. So that's great okay so given that we now have done all that what we wanted to do let's jump into one of the tests, and you can always open that from the issues or if you remember the ID you can open that from there as well so however but yeah open one of the tests for example let me go to uh, registered users can log in daily hunt here and click on this so when I click on a test as an issue type which is coming from x-ray I would see a different interface altogether right I would see an interface which says test details here. This is what the benefit you will get from the X-ray. A Jira by default does not give you these kind of options available by default. Because if I go to a user story, for example, MTP8, right? This is a development user story. And user story is inbuilt issue item in Jira. 
and doesn't have any option of test details by default. So most of us working in any organization uh, manage your test cases under X-ray, sorry, under Excel, or just writing the description and detailing the test steps, etc. So we want something more feasible. So that's where the X-ray catches you. So if a user story is built, you do not have anything to do here. So you will have to write everything under the description and uh, we will be uh, doing everything as a part of it. But when it comes to the X-ray, you will have a freedom of different tabs being displayed to you. You will be able to create a test and under the test, uh, you will be having the test detail segment where you can see that now or what type of test it is. So yes, I would like to tell you that X-ray allows you to create a manual test, a generic test, or a cucumber test. We'll be talking about the other options later. Let's select the manual today. And then what you would see here is, do you want to add a step, or you want to create a new one, or you would like to import the test from the Excel if you have managed it somewhere outside? So you have two options. Either you can call new, or call an existing test, or import already existing test. Open dialog is just to open the dialog box in a separate tab instead of working on the same window. So by clicking on new, it will anyways uh, open a new tab now here and will give you the freedom of managing your steps, your test data and expected result, right? So let's quickly write up some test cases here so that we have a good understanding of how to write test cases. And uh, yeah, let's enter, this is for login. So enter username as specified and the data will be required here so say for example I would say hello one and expected result is username should be entered and displayed right so I got my very first test here but at the same time I would like to highlight if you want to make more formattings uh, here during writing these steps of data or expected result you can make use of these format options like you can try with your test tiles you can make you know heading one heading two kind of format you can make use of bold italic etc you know a lot of options are here and you can make use of different color codes for the text you can use bulleted points and many things are here which can be very well utilized to make it you know look more uh, professional and highlightable right so particularly something like this right I, I hope I'm pretty much making sense to all of you here so click on create and your first step is ready now it's time to write our remaining steps for the login so you can continue with doing the new step but you also have option to create a new step from here or call a test like still if you want to call the remaining ones from somewhere else you can do that or you can even copy this right you can shrink it you can export it you know sorry open it a new tab or you can clone it you can move it to the top or down and delete it right these are the options which you get on the right side quick actions which you can do with the test so let's clone it so that it becomes quick for us to you know write our remaining test so as you see the next step would be quite similar to enter the password so let me just say enter password as specified the password is going to be say for example password at the rate one right and the password must be entered and displayed now it should be entered as masked right it shouldn't be displayed say so do you see that while cloning the test it became pretty much easier for me to write the next step without writing a lot of details by doing just minimal changes and we were done let's quickly create a new step here further which is the last step so click on login button and there's no data to support it because that step is a click operation and the users home page assuming that this is what the expectation is home page should be displayed right so this is where uh, we'll be making it uh, clear and just say create now at the same time you observe that each step has an attachment section so if you want, you can attach some screenshots or any specific items to be supporting how to execute this or which window, which window or which field you're talking about. Don't, don't understand this as like this is your defect snapshots or attachments 
or execution snapshots? No, you're still writing or designing the test. You're not executing the test, right? So we were just creating, and if you think there's a screenshot to tell people that where to perform this, which login button are you talking about, you can include a snapshot there, right? So that's pretty much in order to write the test, a new test, because we will be learning in a different tutorial how to call a test, how to import a test, how to export a test, etc. We'll also be working on other issue items which can be related to a test and different types of test one after the other. Okay? We also can parameterize the test. We'll be working that in the in other tutorials. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.